Question everything, trust nothing. It's your boy, Blockchain Crusader here. We're here for another daily market update. Guys, let's get out of here. Wham, bam, slam, five minutes or less. So let's get started here quickly. Let's jump into the coin market cap, see what's going on in the market. So you guys haven't checked out yesterday's episode. We were covering Bitcoin and its key levels that it needs to hold right now to be able to sustain these levels. But if it can't hold 26, it looks like we're going to be heading down to 24. So let's uh, let's keep an eye on that. But everything's still down 2%, 3%. Not too much, not a lot of change happening here since yesterday. This is the last market update, but, you know, let's see what happens. Hopefully we can hold these levels and we can move on back over to, you know, closer to that 30K level. But guys, we got some big news today. We got a lot of government news coming out that concerns crypto. So let's roll it up quickly here with what, you know, most one of the most important things happening right now is PayPal has been in the news quite a bit with declaring that they were holding Bitcoin on their balance sheet. Uh, a good decent amount now metamask is rolling out eth purchases via paypal to us users that's right guys us users we don't get a lot of stuff but we're getting some stuff right now right, this is great for adoption this is great for just you know getting it to the more common person you know how many merchants use paypal you know how many uh, crypto people already use MetaMask. Being able to integrate these two things together allows more on-ramping onto crypto. That is, you know, a different path from these centralized entities like Coinbase. Right? We've had a lot of issues with Coinbase uh, and other centralized exchanges. So this is great, great news. Americans can now, uh, American users can now purchase, uh, can choose PayPal as their payment method to buy ETH using MetaMask. This is great news, guys. Like I said, massive adoption. They're already holding large amounts of Bitcoin. They're connected to tons of merchants worldwide. And now they're allowing you to buy ETH on their platform as well. It's only a matter of time before more and more people that are already using PayPal and know how to use PayPal start to get into crypto. Up next, we start get, start breaking into the uh the news from the government here that is actually pretty bullish on crypto but guys smash those likes hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed just yet and here we go guys so the federal reserve right they if you haven't forgotten are doing a little something something this summer and i want to bring it back to your attention in case you did forget the fed now will integrate with metal blockchain they're they're launching this thing in uh in july is what I believe. It's July of this summer. So I don't see where it says it here in the article right now. But they are coming out this this uh, this summer for sure. I uh, see here. We'll launch in July. There it is. I knew I saw it. Federal Reserve has started a new service. We'll launch. They're working with you know base fork of Avalanche. I don't know a lot about this metal blockchain. But there is something a little interesting down here that they're mentioning with uh you know working with fed now and the co-founder ceo marshall hayner said that you know this could be an inter this can enable the formation of interconnected bank chains wait a minute where have we heard something like that familiar oh that's right xrp xrp has you know that's their whole goal is to interconnect all these banks but now fed now is getting into the game along with this metal blockchain which i don't know too much about like i said but we do also have news about U.S. politicians, including Florida Governor uh, Ron DeSantis, saying, hey, this Fed now thing, no bueno. And that's actually what we're jumping into right here up next. So like I said, smash those likes, guys. Hit that subscribe if you haven't. And before I even jump into that, I actually want to do a quick special shout out here to our NFT community, Danger Close Alpha. Check out, guys. Today, this weekend, right now, Keeper out there in a three-day survival boot camp teaching preppers about crypto and our community is out there right now learning how to you know do all kinds of different survival homesteading blacksmithing archery making butter all kinds of survival skills out there right now that's keeper right there you know doing his thing teaching and you know wearing the danger close alpha vest so this is the only NFT project with real life utility, and we are doing real life events right now. So I'm so excited for our community out there. But let's get back to the Federal Reserve and Ron DeSantis and what's going on over here. So as we can see here, Governor DeSantis says 
that he, he assigns the CBDC bill into law restricting some users of U.S. and foreign CBDCs. The new law signed by Governor Ron DeSantis also urges also other states to take action against the potential introduction of CBDCs through their commercial codes. This is what I'm talking about. We need to make sure that CBDCs are not just, we don't just hand this over to the government. We don't just let the government take this level of control. This level of control is no bueno for freedom. This is a huge, huge problem. And I love to see my governor uh, here in Florida standing up against this kind of tyranny because that's what it is. It's debt slavery. We've also got Texas in the news today. A lot of things happening down in Texas. If you know, you know. Uh, but if you don't, make sure you jump on over to our Danger Close Alpha Discord and get some heads up information. But here we go. Texas adds digital currencies to the state's Bill of Rights. That's right. Texas lawmakers vote to add digital currencies to the Bill of Rights. This moves this this move grants citizens the right to possess, retain, utilize digital currencies uh, to amend the Bill of Rights was introduced by the state representative Giovanni. Uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that last name, but there is, you know, obviously Ted Cruz and other and other uh, other uh, Republicans are down there that are very uh, pro Bitcoin freedom. So it's always good to see. Just hope that they use these bills. They're, they're stating digital currencies are not stating Bitcoin specifically. So let's just hope that these digital currencies continue to stay on the side of freedom and not on the side of tyranny. So, guys, make sure one last time to smash those likes. Go down below. Uh, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, get notified every time we go live, every time we post a video, and check out yesterday's episode talking with Magic Internet Money, Bill Noble, and Crypto Blood about Bitcoin and where it needs to hold and where it could be going if it doesn't hold this 26K level. So guys, like always, question everything, trust nothing, and until next time, hodl like it's hot. See you guys.